even though I have the A500, the A1200, and some custom-made emulated Amigas, I do miss those big box Amigas with a desktop case and a keyboard. Sadly, they are very expensive and far out of my reach. So let's try to build one on a budget to save some money. Can we do it at a lower price than buying one? Let's see. This crushed uh, Amiga 500, which I bought from a friend, will be the donor computer. I will use uh, some of the plastic, the motherboard and keyboard parts. As you can see, even though it has been through some rough times, it does actually work. So that's a nice start. As you can see, the plastic is kind of ruined. So my plan is to cut here to make a front for a nice desktop case like this. I used an old PC case so I had to use the Dremel a bit and I added some wood panels at the side. Here you can see I'm uh, adding the front which is based on the plastic part from the Amiga case. And now with the cover on we are able to see how it will look. I think this is looking rather nice. Uh, it's um, looking as good as I hoped. On Checkmate 1500 Plus they are selling this uh, very nice uh, keyboard case for the A500 keyboard. So I ordered one of these. And here it is. The Checkmate 1500 uh, keyboard case that can house the A500 keyboard inside, like this. I think this is going to look very nice. But before doing that I had some work cut out for me. 30 years of use gathers quite a lot of dust and skin and everything in the keyboard. Just look at this. If you wondered how much gathers in a keyboard in 30 years, this much. I gave the keys a good wash with some dish soap and let them soak for a few hours. And finally time for assembly. I use lithium grease on these joints to make them slide smoother. This will last me many years and give me a good experience. I find this rather therapeutic, to be honest. Just sitting here, adding one key at a time. And last, but definitely not least, the most important key, the Amiga key. I like the overall quality of the uh, keyboard case. The metal is very sturdy and uh, I think the color of it is uh, very nice. I think it's the same color as uh, the A1200, at least almost. And this is how it looks when it's done. I think it looks very nice. Now I'm just waiting for the parts to make the Amiga 500 motherboard a bit more modern. All the parts I need has arrived. It's time to convert this uh, A500 into a big box Amiga with RTG display. Let's do it. To modernize the A500, I'm swapping out the CPU with a Pi Storm uh, connected to a uh, Raspberry Pi 3B, which is doing the job of emulating the CPU and a graphics card and a hard drive uh, controller. I have flashed this SD card with the caffeine and it is booting. Everything is working. To get the graphics from the OCS chipset out uh, through HDMI, I'm using um, this RGB to HDMI connector. I use double sided tape on the shielding to get the motherboard to stay in place. It worked uh, quite well. And to fasten the Raspberry Pi I use Velcro so I'm able to get it out when I need it. 
which I suspect will be quite often due to SD cards dying and things like that. This is the button for the RGB to HDMI. I made a plastic cover on the back for the keyboard connector and to place the button. And this button is connected through this cable to the RGB to HDMI, like this. And here you can see on the inside, you see the Pi Storm and the Raspberry Pi. And here you can see the RGB to HDMI and how everything is uh, stacked on top of each other and connected. It looks a bit hacky with all the cables going everywhere, but it works. As a mouse, I wanted to use this uh, remake of the tank mouse. It's wireless and uh, has the right look to it. I connected the HDMI like this, one for RTG and one for the original chipset that comes out of the RGB to HDMI. We also need some cables for the lovely Paula sound that the Amiga is so well known for. And of course we need power. I'm using an external power brick in this build. I'm considering making an internal one, but we'll see. And last but not least, we need to connect the keyboard. So what do you think? Does it look like a big box Amiga? I think so. I wanted an RTG based system to use as a desktop Amiga, not a gaming Amiga. So let's have a look at uh, some of their productivity software and uh, how that works on this system. Like all the big box Amigas I had uh, in the 90s and early 2000s, this also run Opus Magellan. So it's very, very familiar and tick my nostalgia. To listen to music, I used Eagle Player and this is Eagle Player. However, it did not look like this, but I can change how it looks in the menu to MP and it looks like I used to. There is an updated theme that looks good. It's uh, made for RTG displays like this. It looks very nice. One of the things I used my Amiga most for was making graphics for demo scenes and backgrounds, pictures and making icons, etc. And one of the programs I used was called TV Paint, which supports RTG display. So let's try that. And it works. Amazing skills. To do my homework, I used a program called Final Writer, and this supports RTG displays as well. And it's a chance to test my keyboard. This software supports everything you need from a word processor, like writing and putting in images. What else do you need? You absolutely do not need cloud connection. Of course, we need to give a good old Pro Tracker a run. And that should be displayed on the original chipset, so we need to change input. And this is the RGB to HDMI. The image is rock solid. I think this is the best uh, RGB solution to HDMI I have tried. So let's put on a module. And while we listen to this uh, nice module, we can check how we're doing on the budget. Need to change input again. So let's open final calc. So, how much did we save? I did check some prices on uh, the internet, and the cheapest Amiga 2000 I found with keyboard was 704 euros, and that was the current bid. So, it's uh, not cheap. 
to be fair, I used uh, Hearthstorm for RTG and CPU upgrades on both sides. And I saved 389 euros. Was it a success? I think so. We didn't hurt any working Amiga during this process. I used one that was already broken, of course. Please don't break a working Amiga to do it yourself. Now, my plan is to enjoy the computer, have a glass of beer, and uh, let me know your thoughts on this build in the comments. Cheers!